Yes, a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClure. This is the big one. Welcome to our TikTok Live. Dinky do a very, very good evening to you. It's a Tuesday evening, nothing gets past me, and here we are live on TikTok just for you, Dinky do. Do come and join us, of course. There's so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. And we always love being with you in the evenings for a good old chit chat. Hi, Dinky do your best. Lovely to have you with us, your best. Excellent, and a very, very warm welcome to you. You're all watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man. And we are live on TikTok just for you, streaming on a Tuesday evening. Is that not fantastic? It's just gone 10 o'clock, so a lot of you in the United Kingdom or in that timeline will be getting ready for your bobos. But do come and join us us for a bit of chat before you head off to the land of Nod. That's what I say. Before you head off to the land of Nod, come and join Scotty McClue and tell 10 to tell 10. First thing to do, of course, is follow me as soon as you come on. And if you're scrolling, you stop here because this is the finest TikTok live you will ever see in your life. There is no doubt about that. I can tell you that for nothing. So there we go. Come and join us, everybody. Come on, Eileen. Yes, mommy. Absolutely. Come on, Eileen. There we are. And uh, Eileen, would that be Eileen Dover? We don't really do second names. You'd make a brilliant submarine commander. I thank you, Giordano. There we are. Take her down, please. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. All right, you madman. Edward, did you do? Uh, hello, hello, I'm from Timbuktu. Yes, you look as if you are. I could tell right away when I saw you there, I thought, there's a man from Timbuktu. <laughs> or even Timbuk1. Hello, Scotty. Hello, amazing. How are you? Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's live on a Tuesday night on TikTok just for you. You like football? Uh, not particularly. No. And I certainly don't like football supporters after their shocking behavior at the weekend. They were, do you support Palestine? Everyone supports Palestine. So silly question, really. You know, but um, what do you do about it? We all support Israel as well. You know, and you think, I wish they'd stop lobbing ordnance at each other. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do. It's Adam, by the way. All right, amazing. No problem at all. Fantastic. Hello, I'm Neil. You. Well, we're all new to a greater or lesser extent, aren't we? Lovely to have you with us. Do follow when you come on. There's Ali. Hello from Bomor in Isla. Welcome, welcome from Bomor. Uh, Elisa has sent me a beautiful red rose. Elisa, thank you so much. You're very, very kind. There were how many languages can you speak in total? Oh, Paul, I don't know in total. I've never really added them all up. Can you predict either Man City or Chelsea will win? I, I can't, otherwise we wouldn't need to play the game. You would just tune in to Scotty McClue Live on TikTok and get the results, wouldn't you? Good evening, good evening, absolutely. It's Callum, Callum. Lovely to have you with us. Bro, why your accent like that? I know, no. <laughs> My accent just is is. <laughs> You scare me, but I like it. Well, you scare me. In fact, you frighten the life out of me, but I like it. <laughs> Where's the flat cap gone, Scotty? We don't know. We've searched everywhere. We've even looked under the bed. Uh, so I don't know. I hope I haven't put it in the wash or something like that. Why are you screaming? Because uh, that's what we do when we're frightened, you see. Do you like uh, do you like haggis? Well, I don't mind it, but it's more of a seasonal dish, to be quite honest with you. Uh, so there we go. Hello from Kelvin Dale. Oh, he's a great guy. Hi, Kelvin. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Very close to the Fourth and Clyde Canal. Uh, Dinky Doo says Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Absolutely. Lovely to have you with us. Um, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, no, it's not a pipe, is it? It's a saxophone. Nice hat. Where can I get it? Well, you can get it on my head. That's where it is. Um, what part of Scotland are you from? All of it, really. Do men really go commando under their kilt? Oh, I wouldn't want a commando under my kilt, I'll tell you. There we go. Hey, from Arizona, I think you do. Um, do you like whiskey? No, I don't drink alcohol at all. 
So that's that gone, hasn't it? So we don't do the whiskey. I say, guys, if you've just joined us, please follow us. Because we need to get followers. Half a million viewers and uh, only 12,500 followers. What's going on? You do the math. There we go. So as soon as you come on, everyone on TikTok should actually have followed Scotty McClue. We need to put that right. So do tell and do tell. And also, can somebody be detailed to go and like some of the TikTok videos? Apparently, if you tap my portrait, all my videos come up. Is that true? So there we go. Good evening from Greenock. We love Greenock. George Parker, what are you doing up at this time of night? Sending Scotty McClue TikToks, you lovely, lovely, generous person. There we go. Now, there's a 142. I think 142 can probably be sent down the river for trolling. Yay! Bye-bye, 142. <laughs> Excellent. Are we down the river with 142? That's what we want. Good evening, Greenock. How are things tonight? Hello, brother. 55. Yes, Glasgow was ripped on Saturday, which was shocking. So what are you going to do to put it right? Do you think Rangers should be fined? There we are. Do you think all the fans should be, or should they be banned from the game? Say no fans allowed because of the trouble. Uh, what's your favourite tea and coffee? No coffee at all. Haven't coffee for 40 years. Kendus, what are you doing, you generous man? You sent enough last night to, 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 to feed the 5,000. Yes, you did. And you know you did. The wonderful people. There's Kendall's guys. Thank you to George Parker for huge generosity. And Kendall's is now giving me, my goodness me, 40 TikToks. That's enough, Kendall's. Stop at 50. I order you to stop now. <laughs> there we are. Good boy. Maria Knight. Thank you so much, Kendall's. Maria Knight has just joined us. And Maria has got to me. We are the most generous woman in the world. She's given me thousands and thousands and thousands of TikToks. Kendall's is joining in again now. When he sees Maria, he goes, right, I can do that. <laughs> very, very kind of you guys. George Parker has sent me a placard as well. I don't know what all these things mean, but they're so beautiful. Maria showers me with gold and um, showers me with um, with with, uh, with confetti and uh, all sorts of wonderful gifts. There we are, incredible. So that's that. So we don't do the tea or the coffee. You have so many hats. Oh yes, I have. That's to suit all my different faces. <laughs> <laughs> My man, Dickie New England, lovely to have you with us. Do you watch Still Game? Well, they say I was the original inspiration for Still Game. What about that? Evening, Scotty, I slept in. Kendall's, you're absolutely fine. And it's so lovely to have you with us. Maria, what are you doing? Maria, please, you give away your heart. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> what do we do? How do we solve a problem like Maria? A legend. I love this. England, lovely to have you with us. Did you do? So there we are. Did you hear about the guy whose hand blew up because a smoke bomb exploded his hand? Yes, but Cammy, what were they doing with these smoke bombs in the first place? These look to me like uh, distress flares. We're for marine use. Very, very dangerous. You've got to know what you're doing. There's Hafsa saying, do you support Palestine? Hafsa, everyone supports Palestine. The problem is also they support Israel. The hat makes you look like a certain Lenin. Did John Lennon wear one of these? I think he did. Yes, or Lennon from Russia. You look like a sailor today. Oh, hello, sailor. <laughs> you legend. I love what you do. Get your own show. England, I think this might be the show. Is TikTok the way ahead? I know we used to have a quarter of a million every half hour listening to Scotty McClue, but is TikTok going to deliver, do you think? I've just liked your last 10 videos. Giordano, you are one of the kindest people in the world. Guys, if you can follow me as soon as you come on and like the videos. Maria Knight, what are you doing? Kenders, what are you doing? Kenders is on 275, Maria's on 295. 
So Maria's 20 ahead of Kendra's. Maria's gone past the 300. Kendra's just coming up to the 300 right now. I shall tell you when we're on the nose. And there it is on the nose, the 300. Maria's at 321, 322. 307, 308. Kendra's, stop it, the pair of you. Come on. You're too generous to an old guy. Thank you for liking all the videos, folks. Woo! You didn't realize you were a train driver. Oh, there's a lot you don't know about me. I can tell you. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Absolutely. It's not only Rangers fans that have been at it. All right, Luke, fess up. Who else has been at it? What's your favorite town in the UK? Every single city town and village of the UK. I love them. I think I've been in every single one. There we are. Do follow us, guys. No bans, just banners, my bro. Jack, we'll take your word for it and let you stay. Hi from Malaysia. I'm sending lots of hearts, lots of love. Love to you in Malaysia. I'm from Brighton. We love Brighton. Brighton Beach. All the antique shops will be opening up again soon. Shh, shh, says Fender. Fender, you shh, shh. Can we be quiet, please, for Fender? I've told them, Fender, Maria, what are you doing? You're going to end up at 500. You must stop the pair of you. Right, Kenders and Maria, I command you, I command you to stop at 500 no more because it's too generous. You're too kind. Stop, 500, coming up now. There's Maria Knight just coming up to the 500 now. She's coming up to the 500 and then it goes on the nose. Stop. She's going past the 500. She's going past the 500. She's not listening to McClure. Kendall's, what are you doing? He's stop. Stop the 500 now. Oh, he's gone past the 500. Kendall's has gone past the 500. Maria Knight's on 526. Kendall's is on 512. The pair of you, you'd give away your hearts. Guys, see these things flashing up in front of you. That's Maria Knight and Kendall's 80 sending McClue gifts on TikTok. Is that not beautiful? Follow us, please, as soon as you can, guys. Fender Bender Dinky Doo. Could you tell me about why Scotland joined with England? Well, I can, Josh. It was actually Queen Anne got up to the jiggery-pokery. They parachuted Queen Anne in as the last of the Stuarts. But, of course, she bribed the Scottish nobles who were short of a few quid because King William had pulled the rug on Scotland's finances with the Darien scheme or the Darien scheme or the Darien scheme. Not sure how you actually say that. Maria, what are you, what are you guys playing at? Guys, they're on 600 each. They're coming up to 650. Oh. I can't look. Anyway, um, so that was Queen Anne. So she bribed the nobles who'd been fighting each other and were short of money. And we seriously had to devalue Scotland's economy to facilitate economic union with England. And then, for the next 313 years, Scotland has just been robbed blind, apart from money from the EU. So there we are, and it continues. So there we are, deep, deep, fender bender, deep, deep. Deed. Yo, Captain. Hello, Alex. Thank you. Do. Lovely to have you with us. What are you two at? Maria, that's enough now. She's she's gone. She's gone over 700. So is Kendall's. He's at 700 now. Oh, I don't know what to do. There we are. Lovely to have you with us, Forza. Hope you have a lovely day, mate. Thank you, 17th century monarch. It's lovely to have a monarch on. I say, everybody watches Scotty McClure throughout the world. May God bless you. Have a good day, sir. And you, Lufa. Lovely to have you with us. There we are. Go and fight each other on St. George's Street. Not at all. Follow us as soon as you come on. Black Bun 130. I love you from the Philippines, says Sivirama. Uh, you're very old, stroke young, depending on the day. Hubba, I'm always very young, but I'm very old as well. My friend, calm down. You woke up and chose violence. Is that what you did, Cameron? Well, I ask you to repent. Never, ever, ever choose violence. There we are. I've told him, folks. Uh, share the live as soon as you can. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap the screen. Has anybody followed? Let me see if anyone's followed. See, I've got permissions here. I can check.
I can check if you followed. Uh, riddle. What do you call a Mexican whose ride is missing? Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. Stop! I see what you just did there. Maria Knight's on 875. Kendall's is on 863. Oh, it's Captain Scott McClure. Ahoy, bye. Ahoy to you, bye. I'll tell you. Name the town in the UK with the most famous viaduct. Oh, that would be Glen Finnan. The Glen Finnan viaduct, I say. Hi, I'm getting a mortgage. I'm so stressed. Any tips on dealing with a whole mess? Angels, keep the faith. Love being you. Once you've got something, you usually manage to keep it. Now, what have we got here? Maria is on 945. Kendall's is on 930. They're 15. Kendall's is 15 by Maria. Guys, you must stop at 1,000. Seriously, that's it. The game's up. Nana Patata is giving me... Nana Patata is sending me red roses. And Frukin Mil and Juan Bizio is sending me TikToks. Maria Knight, thank you so much. Please stop. Maria's now sending red roses. Guys, you're sending lollipops. You're a very nice man, Scotty. Have a pleasant day. You too, Huba. I say thank you. Where are you watching from? And we'll try and speak your language. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Caitlin. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome. I've just popped up. Were you on Still Game? No, but they think I was the inspiration for Still Game. Hi, Captain Bird's eye on you, my fish fingers. <laughs> very, very kind of you. Absolutely. I've lost my flat cap. I've lost the bonnet. So I maybe need to put a badge on my, my captain's cap. There we are. What do you think of independence? I think uh, independence itself uh, as a basic is a winner for Scotland, but I do worry about some of the kind of people who want it for different reasons. And I heard about some politicians that uh, weren't properly, solemnly, and seriously taking their allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen, our Head of State, seriously. Now, that's a real tut 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 they say they want to serve the people, but they're not going to be serving the people unless they acknowledge our head of state. So there we are. We you catch me some fish? You shall have a fishy on a little dishy, I say. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Very important. Are you a rugby fan, Scotty? Of course, Davey. I used to play. Tight head prop. Down first. Boom! <laughs> Maria, what are you doing, my darling angel? I worry about Maria's finances. I do. I know it's none of my business, but she gives me so many things. Did you drink more stout or cider? Well, now, who I don't drink uh, at all. Uh, so there you are. Don't drink alcohol. Can you give us a sea shanty? Yes, I can. When I was at sea, we used to add a little of lemonade to our beer. That's the near so he got to a sea shanty. <laughs> How are you getting on? Good evening, Scotty. Haven't been on in a while. Hope you're well, sir. Jen, lovely to have you with us and dinky do. <coughs> I've played in the back row now for 13 years. Davey, we're not interested in your private life. What was the picture? Uh, I'm not a big fan of the royal family personally, but each of their own. Callum, it's not even a question of being a fan of the royal family. It's bigger than personalities. You see, the monarchy, the queen, who has done an outstanding job, <coughs> pardon me, uh, she's the curator and custodian of the crown, which is our symbol of authority in this country. Sorry, I went uh, telling me you were on the cider. Oh, yes. I, when, I, when I drank alcohol, I enjoyed the cider. Say hello to God's country, to Hoik. Do you know that the late, great, yes, and you know who I'm going to talk about? Who am I going to talk about? Come on. <laughs> who am I talking about? The late, great, from Hoik, Bill, yes. Who am I talking about? You know who I'm talking about? Rugby. Yes, come on. Fun fact, shout in my language, Dutch, uh, means naughty. Naughty, 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 ya, ya. Come into hoes, wiltshire, cup of heaven. I'm veering mein klompen. Maria is at it. Maria sending me another 400. 
Maria's sending more red roses, guys. She sent me thousands. What do you think about Mike Tyson? Well, I won't, I won't, I won't cheek up to Mike Tyson. No, no, no. You've got to, you've got to know when you're doing well, you know. Uh, Thank you, Scotty. Another great hat. Oh yes, South Africa, the best in rugby. Absolutely, we love South Africa. Um, now, who have I got here? They're clumping. Ha ha, yeah, mine are clumping. Uh, shout out to my. Oh, Shane, when are you going to grow up? Shane's mentioned the lady with the C word, and it's usually a lifetime ban. What do you think, guys? Should we ban Shane or should we leave him? Yes, we know that it's a ban. <coughs> what about. Hoik and the late great, come on, Andrew, you can do it. You must have known him. Bill McLaren, finest rugby commentator in the whole history of the game. Lovely man. And I was heartbroken because uh, he came into the radio station and uh, I went and got my lunch because I thought he'll still be here when I got back and he'd gone and I'd have loved a chat with him. Hi from Nova Scotia and Canada. New Scotland, we love you in Canada, thank you. Maria, what are you doing? Maria is now sending me 600 red roses, and she's going to stop at 600, because that's plenty for an old guy, and she brings so much joy. So there we are. Now, <coughs> Captain Birdseye sending blood off. Hey, be blood off. <laughs> there are no, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Hi, hi, are there? <laughs> Fresh fish. Now, not at all. Fantastic. Right, who do we have here? Um, guys, remember not to put down names of places on here. Jordan, you should know better. Hi from from Kazakhstan. Yeah, Kazakhstan. Lovely to have you. What's Maria doing? Maria, you've sent me sunglasses. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, the sunglasses. Uh, we missed the flat cap, Scotty. It's your signature on my pin. It's there it is. I just can't find it. I don't know if we'll put it in the wash. So I've had to wear my jackaroo. You'll see that. Hi from Wangari. Wangari in Australia. Fair dinkum and dinky do, I'd say. What's your opinion on this Palestinian-Israeli conflict? I'm disgusted with the leadership of both countries. Shocked. <coughs> they need to stop it. It certainly was my friend, indeed. Celtic or Rangers, go and see them both playing. Oh, there's the carousel. Look at that. Maria's just sent a carousel. Dinky do Scotty. <coughs> free Palestine and free Israel, I say. What's wrong with the leadership of Palestine? Well, they can't sort out the conflict. They need to sort out the conflict. That's what leaders do. They shouldn't be chucking ordnance at each other. Loving the show, Vaughn. I thank you so much. Thoughts on Ollie Reed? Ah, oh, we miss Ollie. Lovely guy. <laughs> a pal of mine met him <coughs> in the pub and they'd got some t-shirts the pub that Ollie drank in they got t-shirts made up saying I drink with Oliver Reed and one night they felt a hand on their shoulder and he said um, do you want to make it true they turned around and there was the great man so is, they said well what, uh, what could we get you he said Oliver Vodka and one of them went over to his table. He said, I'll be sitting there. One of them went over to his table and said, um, Ollie, was it a large vodka you wanted? And he went, darling, don't be a... And said a, said a word that I can't say. <laughs> Have you been to Loch Catron? I bust there with the pipes in the summer. I know it very, very well. Stronach Lachler. Yes, uh, the Sir Walter Scott, which is now... 120 years old, 121 years old. Anyone like uh, things in Israel? No. <coughs> Follow us, please, guys, as soon as you come on. Maria, what are you doing? Maria's going to send me 925 red roses. Watch it, guys. Are you watching this? Maria, you are just so kind to me. You spoil me. Absolutely spoil me. There we are. Now, 
your favourite place in Scotland, everywhere, <coughs> anywhere in Scotland, I say. Scotty, I prefer it when we're not arguing. La Hoop, I absolutely agree, so come on. We just need to calm down and enjoy ourselves. We are brothers, you and I. Yes, indeed. Now, who have we got? Maria's passed out on her keyboard. No, she's not. She's just very, very generous. Maria, you must stop now. Thousand red roses coming up. Maria's going to stop right now. Oh, thank you, my darling. You are so kind. So very, very kind. Would you rather be unable to... What? What are you saying? Hang on a minute. Would you rather be unable to move your eyes or unable to move your neck? I would rather be able to move absolutely everything. <coughs> yes, indeed. Karen's from Inverness, where they speak the finest English in the world. There we are. Hi from Afghanistan. Change of hat, change of hat, Colin, yes. <coughs> well spotted. Nothing gets past you, you know. You're quite the little Sherlock Holmes, aren't you? Yes, indeed. Morning, the Duke of Dundee, Maria. Thank you so much. I'm driving to Cambridge tomorrow. Might not be on here. Kenders, we will miss you. Have a very, very safe journey and please take care of your dear self. You are a very, very precious and important person. Hi from France. Je regret me, je ne parle pas français. Oui, c'est un peu long de mal. I just got here. What are you doing? We're talking. So I'm glad you're here. Hi from France. Hi from Armagh, Scotty. Good afternoon to you. Uh, is British accent? Uh, no, 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 not British. No accent for Britain. No such thing as British accent. Britain, only a landmass. Scottish accent. English accent. Welsh accent. Oyakida. Northern Irish accent. But no British accent, no such thing. Love your accent, I thank you. It's not accent, accent. I think it's just the way I speak. It's wonderful, isn't it? There's Gary joining us. Fantastic. Guys, have you just joined us? I like Scottish accents. Are you independent yet? Eh, not quite yet, but I think it's, it's in the pipeline. <laughs> now, guys, I need some more followers. It's been sitting at 12,300 for over a thousand years. Thousand years of TikTok. Uh, Scotty, hey, greedy. Followers, guys, we need a follow fest. Where's the follow slip? I had one. No, I don't know where I've put it. Anyway, I had a slip telling you I would hold it up. It says, follow me. <coughs> Can we all follow, please? I noticed your accent's got a bit weaker in the years. I remember it was stronger. Oh, I strong accent. An American tried to tell me that the UK, England, and Britain are the same thing. LME, oh. <coughs> Absolutely, no, no, they're not the same thing at all. Uh, I like the Scottish frock. Yeah, it's the kilt. There we are. Where are you from, Scotty? I am from TikTok, from the universe. I'm a child of the universe. There we are. Now, no cap says no. <laughs> that is lush. Do you think that would be good, guys? Shall we get that fixed to the cap? Do you still have a women drivers? Well, I try and avoid. There was one last week drinking tea out of an actual cup at the wheel. And our car was crossing over the white line and all sorts of things. There we are. Um, I remember that. Absolutely stare, yes. Good day, mate. Good day, Riley. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClure. Welcome to our live. Always good to have you on here. What is your favorite nut? I think probably the BSF nut would be my favorite. Um, or maybe the, the Whitworth. You know, or maybe an AF nut. 
I don't know. Tell me what you what's your favourite nut? I hope Scotland stays in the EU. You're the only ones to see through the propaganda. Oh, of course, no. We saw we saw right through Brexit right away. Very, very, very bad. Just fallen up the stairs. How can you fall up the stairs? Well, I suppose you can. Sire, what are the words of wisdom for today? The words of wisdom are love being you. It's a great thing to be. And a good name is better than great riches. There you are, you see. Can you say, I can't say that. I see your captain smart. Explain to us the difference. Hang on. The difference between Great Britain and the United Kingdom. Well, Great Britain is only a land mass. The great is the big bit. Yes. And uh, so it's not a country. It doesn't have any identity apart from being a land mass. The United Kingdom is three countries on Great Britain and one on Britain small. So there we are. Little Britain. There we are. That's what goes on there. Can you sing a C centi? I don't know what a centi is. There we are. I could be a sentry. Uh, uh, dinky do. Thank you, Jordan. Very much appreciated. I see you, Captain Smart. So the difference between Great Britain and the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is an amalgam of four countries. Yes. Great Britain is purely a, a, a geological land mass. <laughs> That's your major difference. That's quite a difference, isn't it? Will Scotland get in the EU and won't Spain veto it? Why would Spain veto it? You know, why would they do that? To not give Catalan independence? Well, you know, I mean, that's nothing to do with it. You know, Spain's... You see, what people don't realize, all this, we want our country back, we're leaving the EU. Our country never went anywhere. Every country was consulted about everything the EU did. So that's Spain's domestic politics. That's nothing to do with the EU. Yes? So there we are. So what Spain does with Catalan is nothing to do with what Scotland does. It's Captain Scotty. Salted peanuts. <coughs> You've got to be very careful shouting out peanuts. There was a, um, a circus once that had a beautiful big elephant. And the elephant was called Nuts. And the trainer used to say, down nuts. And the elephant would kneel down. Up nuts. And the elephant would stand up. And then a boy came round one day with a tray on his head selling peanuts. And the poor man. <clears throat> Sir, here we got here. Ireland is so behind when it comes to COVID. Where are you Scots at with it? Lahoub, we're just about coming out, I think, but we've got some hot spots in Scotland. It's a bit, and they're a bit worried about the new variant from India. Ahoy there, me hearty. Charlie, dinky you do. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. We're very, very busy, but we can always squeeze in a small one. Little Britain. Yes, that was funny, wasn't it? Uh, Britain is three. Britain's got three countries in the great bit, and in the smaller bit, it's got one. Because six counties of the north of Ireland have decided to join the United Kingdom. Which city has the correct accent for English? Inverness in Scotland is where you'll get the most perfect English. If you go to London, it's more sort of all that stuff. Whereas if you go to Inverness, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, now... There's going to be some political shecht storm in the next years. Not necessarily, but warm. Are you calling Ireland Little Britain? I'm calling six counties in the north of Ireland, yes, have decided they want to be part of the United Kingdom. You see, so that's how it is. Uh, now, who have we got? Sorry, you've got an amazing voice. I thank you. This is two. Captiano Findusa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from? I think he's calling Ireland, Little Britain. No, 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 chef. Let's not get too confused. Ireland is Ireland. Yes. The whole of the Emerald Isle. 
But there are six counties in the north that have opted to be part of the United Kingdom. You see what I mean? So it's actually nothing to do with, with Britain because they're not on the land mass that is Great Britain. Ireland's already independent, so Scotland has an historical precedent. Absolutely, but one. Good point. We like that. Um, that's what happens all, considering lots of Spain's produce comes from Catalan. Well, you see, that will be the larder for Spain. Follow us as soon as you come on. Very, very important. Um, now, who have we got here? Something about independent but not united till then. Most of us are not satisfied. What do you mean most of you? You must be or you wouldn't vote in your government. As we learn from Brexit experience, winning a referendum is not the main issue. Well, you see, that referendum could just have been, you know, put aside. It was a party political stunt that went horribly wrong. There was obviously pressure. The Leave campaign were putting a lot of pressure on uh, everybody working them from the back like puppets and muppets to get them to vote Leave so that their rich friends didn't have to pay any tax. And you've all been used, you see. What from the back? <whistles> there we go. Would you like to leave the EU? <laughs> That sort of idea. <coughs> Good day, Scotty. It's been ages since I've been here. How have you been? Lovely new hat. Carviator, welcome back. How lovely to have you with us. What an absolute joy. Hello from Bakewell. Ah, yes. Do you know any of the Bakewell tarts, Matt? You know, very, very fine foodstuffs. Invergordon, actually. Who's from Invergordon? Do you think Invergordon's got better English than um, than Inverness? Uh, no, we're not decided. They say, excuse me, I want a word with you, boy, I'll tell you. Uh, no, not decided. Wasn't given back to us in 1922. We compromised to have a republic. Yeah, but you're enjoying your republic. You'll be missing the queen. I'm sure you would enjoy having the queen running the show. Inverness sounds like a nice name. Well, Inver is just mouth, and Ness is the river Ness, going out into the North Sea, the Murray Firth. So there, which goes into the North Sea. A good evening, a good evening, Baines. I won't say the naughty word, but lovely to have you with us. Good evening from Shetland. Ah, we love you, Shetland. Unst and Yell and Lerwick and, and Fantastic and Uphelia. And uh, yes, indeed, and very fine fiddlers. Uh, we love the Shetland, da forty fiddlers. Yes, indeed, my father was a Scottish violinist, a fiddler, and uh, he used to uh, love all his friends from Shetland. <coughs> what do you do for a living, sire? You seem like you own a palace, Hassan. Nobody can ever own anything. We can only curate it and pay for it. <laughs> Hello from Apron Hill in Cumbernault. Is Apron Hill, is that not where Gregory's Girl was filmed? Yes, it's a long time ago, but I remember going to see it when it came out in the pictures. Love it. Good evening from the Isle of Man. We love the Isle of Man. Scotty McClure is very well known in the Isle of Man. I used to broadcast to the Isle of Man. Yes, indeed. Don't mess with the Irish people. They don't play. Well, bookworm, they need to learn to play. And in fact, let me inform you, my dear little chum, Maha, let me inform you that I know the Irish people inside out and there's nothing they like better than playing. <laughs> See? So don't, uh, don't mess with me, bookworm, and I'll tell you about your own people. <clears throat> And uh, do you like Germans? Yes, I love the Germans. And I'll tell you, the Germans who are our fabulous allies in the EU, our business partners, along with Germany, our dear allies and friends, we owned and controlled, well, you can't own, I've just said, we controlled 30% of the whole of the world's top trading block, and we gave it up for nothing. Riddle. What's sweet, edible, and can be found in the Glasgow Fun Fair? Scott and candy. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bring me what you've been taking. I need to see the bottle. 
The six counties are still Irish, just under the rule of Britain. I don't say rule, stare. I think they're under the financial grant of Britain, and the Queen is their head of state <coughs> in the six counties. There we are. I like your hat. Thank you, Charlie. It's a great privilege to wear it for you all, I say. It's because I've lost my bonnet. Now, what have we got? They also decided to stay in the EU, and they did not decide to be part of Britain. Absolutely, Michael. So there we are. Soon most Irish want a united Ireland. Well, we don't know about that, Casanova. Do you not think if they wanted a united Ireland, they'd have one? Because let's face it, <clears throat> you know, Northern Ireland's been flung under a bus economically, hasn't it? So, you know, now should they not be talking and see if the South want to pick up the tab? So do all of you in the Republic want to be paying for everybody in the North to keep them in the style they are accustomed to? Can you say hello to the player? I can. That hat loops all oh, rubby. Absolutely, the hat is big stuff. <laughs> hello, George. Hello, Zaka. Dinky do. Now, can you say hello? Yes, we'll say hello. Haggis is bad, says user. Well, it, don't eat that one. Get a new one. There we are. What? Oh, we've done that one, haven't we? Yes, we've done all these. Now then, uh, Ronald Reagan. Yes, I want to be reformed. We need more democracy. What's going on here? The finest broadcast in the world is happening right before your eyes, and nobody knows about it. Tell 10 to tell 10. Has everybody followed us, guys? Let's see if anybody's followed. And have you all liked? I need you all to go and like the videos. Now, apparently, if you tap my portrait, you can get access to all Scotty McClue's videos. Can everybody like them? And can I have a 1,000 followers right away, please? Very, very important. What made you change to the lovely captain's hat for the good old cap with a badge? I've lost the cap, Carviator. I need to find it again. Once I find it, I'll change back. So there we are. Um, right, different breeds, you're spamming me. I need to dump you for spamming. That's a cardinal sin on here. We can't have spammers. We ask something once, and that's it. Fit like, Scotty, for you, Dean. Jockey, fit like in the northeast. Eh, hey, but, but, but see a good kind of folk in the next day. Oh, what? Free Palestine, free Palestine, yes, and free Israel as well. Uh, Fred Dibner, dude, like the upgraded flat cap. Do you support Palestine's now? Look, everyone supports Palestine, right? Everyone in the world. It's adored. So is Israel. They're two big countries full of beautiful, beautiful people. They need to stop flinging ordnance at each other. So there's no point in asking, do I support? Everybody supports them, but how do you stop them fighting? You need to get them round the table. That's the stuff. There's Poland, dinky-doo. What do you think of Israel? Beautiful country full of beautiful people. But needs to stop chucking ordnance at Palestine. I wonder if the British should just have stayed in Palestine. Hello from the Netherlands. What's this live about? This live, Ollie, is about everything. You need to be joining it and watching every single second of it. There we are. If you're scrolling live, come and join us. This is where what it's about. This is where you should be. This is your natural home on TikTok. Scotty McClue. <coughs> I beg your pardon. Hello from the Netherlands. Hello. Yeah, come into hus. Wilchen Kupete Heben. I'm a wearing mine klumpen. Uh, Germans really controlled and still controls. Our position was not strong. Raoul, don't be silly. Our position was very, very, very strong indeed. Very strong in the EU. Don't kid yourself, chum. Never kid yourself. Along with Germany, you're not listening to me. We shared control of 30%. Yeah, so don't get carried away with all that. You've had your head stuffed with nonsense. You'll have to suck it up and listen to McClure. There are a whole other host of people who want unity. La Hoop, where are they? Why are you not uh, united? 
So come on, the proof of the pudding and all that, my dear. You won't do it through terrorism. I'm going to Edinburgh next week. That is a gorgeous thing to do, Chloe. I hope you love every second of it. <coughs> it's a beautiful city. Eh? Nathan says, surely it can't be. Yes, Scotty McClue, the one-stop broadcaster, first lord of the internet, just for you saying dinky-doo. Hello from the borders. Which borders, Robbie? The Scottish borders. We love it. Are you from uh, Gala? Are you from Hoyk? Are you from Selkirk? Are you from Peebles? <laughs> That's a start. Are you from Walkerburn? There we are. Do you live in Edinburgh? Me too. I don't, Branch. No. I don't, but I used to live in Edinburgh. <coughs> La Hoop, you're dead right. So there we are. But um, no, I don't know about that stare. I think maybe you're imagining that. That's your reimagination running riot. You see, oh, everybody goes and dances with the fairies at the bottom of Dingley Dell. It's the Titanic captain. Oh, poor Captain Smith. Oh, no, 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 no. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. You all right, Scotty? You all right, Lloyd? Dinky do. <coughs> I'm going to have to go soon. It's nearly 10 o'clock. Nearly 11 o'clock. Oh, my goodness me. You probably don't remember me, but you wished me luck for an exam on Saturday and it went well, Mabel. I remember you absolutely, 100%. And I'm so glad to hear that. And I remember wishing you well, of course. Why would you think I probably wouldn't remember you? I can remember calls from 29 years ago. <laughs> I'm going to Peebles for a few days. Have you been there? Are there nice things to see? It's gorgeous. It's on the River Tweed. And beautiful. It's got a beautiful big crowned church that looks like the crown of St. Giles in Edinburgh. There we are. You will love Peebles. Don't you think if Scotland became independent, there will be counties that want to remain in the UK? No. No, 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 no. You can't compare non-like with non-like. You're comparing apples and pears. There's no comparison between Ireland and Scotland in that way. Totally different history, my dear fellow. There we are. Absolutely. I live in Brunsfield. I know Brunsfield very, very well. Love it. Absolutely love it. There we go. Fantastic stuff. What have you got up there? I'm thinking there's a lot of, the, the roads have got a lot of aristocratic names, haven't they? I'm just trying to think of some of the roads up there in Brunsfield. Yes, I used to stay with uh, friends in Brunsfield. There's the shops, you know the shops. So they were they had a flat near to the shops, you know. Uh, now, I, what have we got here? Oh, yes, indeed. I'm from Bothwell. We love it. We like Bothwell. Very, very good. What a shame. You still look handsome in the new hat, though. No, Carviator, don't worry. We'll get it all sorted. Right. Do geese play bingo? Um... I think they might take some people under their wing and show them how to play. But never, ever, ever play poker with a black Labrador. Because as soon as they get a good hand, they start to wag their tail. They can't help it. The tail starts to go. <laughs> you okay, Scotty? Absolutely. Are you Rangers? Um, am I Rangers? Hey, am I Rangers? Power Rangers. Yes, I'm a Power Ranger. Fantastic. I'm an X-Man. You give us a brief description of the issues with Israel and Palestine. They go way, way, way back, Ronald. Yes, I mean, you should know yourself, but they go way, way, way back. The Balfour Declaration, you see, the British were in Palestine. And remember, Jesus was a Palestinian, but he was also a Jew until he started his own setup, Christianity. <clears throat> so you've got quite a mix of people. 20% of the city of Jerusalem are Palestinian Arab. Now, people just need to start accepting each other and loving each other as their brothers and sisters. Yeah. In this day and age, 2,013 years after Jesus' birth, they should have got their act together. But you see, in actual fact, the Middle East was sold to America in the, I think it was the late 50s. And being the world's police person is a very, very big ask, to be honest with you. 
So you've got problems. You've got the Balfour Declaration and the way that um, Palestine was split up. And then 1948, you had the Exodus and you had the Jewish people wanting their own land, their own homeland. So they kind of moved in. And I think there's been so much argy-bargy, yes, between Arab-Israeli uh, with wars, with a big war in 1968. And I remember my dear father who was a very, very wise man. And uh, he said, there's been no peace in that land for 2,000 years. And uh, my old chum, Lieutenant Colonel Colin Mitchell, Mad Mitch of the Argyles, he was wounded in the explosion in the King David Hotel in 1948, I think it was. A bomb went off in the King David Hotel. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. So there we are. RIP, the day we get unity will be our revenge. No, no, stare, stare. No. No, drop that. Never, ever, ever, ever revenge for anything. Yeah? Never, ever. You know, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So you never, ever, ever go for revenge for anything. You embrace your brothers and sisters. Otherwise, you're no better than the lowest form. Okay? So, get your hat on. Follow McClure. Listen to McClure. It's past my bedtime, Scotty. Fiskama. Yes, indeed. Ichiva maha. Aichivalich, as we say. Aichivalich mahas. And uh, falchi, falchi. Keed a milli falchi. Don TikTok a dis scotchach McClure. Right, off we go. Peace, stare. That's the big one. Total peace. Love. Peace and love. Right, Scotty McClure's got to dash off. Up early in the morning. I was on here live at 20 to 7 this morning. So you'll see that on the lives. And you'll get it on the YouTube channel. Every single one of you should be following me on YouTube and subscribing. Every single TikToker should be following Scotty McClure and liking all the videos. So when you're uh, when I go off, I want you to sit just for 10 minutes and like and follow. Okay, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir and the cheerio. Cheerio, my loves. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous. Remember, you're very, very special people. Love being you. It's a lovely thing to be. And we'll all get together again soon. Thank you to our generous, generous, generous benefactors, Maria and uh, and uh, Disco Pete and Kenders and all the beautiful people and our chum in Harrow. We must never forget our great Harrovian chum who is also a great benefactor to Scotty McClure on TikTok Live. Good night, God bless, dinky-doo, and as we say in the best of circles, ta lads! See you all soon. Night-night.